What up, YouTube? This is Geo Stealth R1, and what are we doing today? Well, more and more upgrades are coming in. Here we go. This is the front steering leakage from Trell. The part number is X003KIOK6 Z is in zebra. That's going to be installed for the front. <clears throat> and now I also have my front steering knuckles which are in blue. Uh, the part number is X003KIKGQ3. And on top of that, I was getting kind of annoyed and I finally got these and these are my, uh, what is it? Six millimeter or seven millimeter? I think it's seven millimeter. Seven millimeter hex for my uh, for my rims. Part number is zero uh, uh, X003K9N19V is in Victor. So I'm going to be installing these guys. We'll go step by step and uh, we'll see where this takes us. All right. So if I'm looking at this correctly, I'm going to have to unscrew here, unscrew here, unscrew this. Same thing on the other end. Pop out my hexes as well. Uh, watch out for the pin to be falling out. Take this whole stuff out of here. Um, hit up a few screws that are over here and then just reinitialize the drive shafts to go into uh, to everything else so uh, it should be should be fairly simple I mean a few screws just pop out and stuff like that if you guys have never done this before just you know um, just remember that once I'm installing this I'm gonna be utilizing Loctite but uh, you know just line everything up the way I do I usually put everything in front of me and so I know what's going where and what side and everything like that so little, little tip, tips and tricks of the game so let's begin all right so everything was disconnected uh, let me just show you this steering knuckle right here there we go once again nicely machined and uh, here we go I haven't even taken this out but we'll get that installed. It should go really quick. I'm going to use the bearings from Trell to install. I'm gonna leave these out. I know one of my other RC cars, I think the TRX4M F150 uh, needs bearings, so I'm gonna utilize those. But uh, let me install this. I'm gonna store in the steering linkage as well. It's only a few screws to go back over there. Then I'd be able to drive in the drive shafts. And then also I'm going to throw in the brass wheel hubs. And then let's see how this whole thing comes uh, comes into fruition. Alrighty, so here we go. I think this came. I'm 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 loving the blue. I mean this. It's it's not like a Traxxas blue. It's this this blue is so much better than uh no offense tracks is they i uh anodize their stuff but this is really really nice uh i'm very impressed on how it's done uh i opted to not put the um the wheel hubs on yet because these little guys they fall out so the last thing i want to do is is come across and and have these fall out as i'm gonna do another install uh very soon but yeah now nah, this came out really really good so um if you like if you like this video oh before i let you go uh definitely use your loctite on this one uh you don't want to lose uh specialty screws especially those guys over there uh something i would advise you not to do anyway if you like this video uh definitely leave me a comment a like subscribe and tell my fellas up in youtube later